Once there was a man named Price, but it was Pierce and he was a bank man of genre. He was bank cleaning up his bank one day when a man named Robert Roberts, who wasn't named Gary because that would be stupid, showed up. Robert Roberts wanted to get in the band, but the bank was cloned. Then Tobert Roberts said, Let me in. But the bank manager Price, who was Pierce, thought deeply of fair. He wanted Ott make the right decision. He needed to think of something to say, so he said, No. So Robert Roberts said, But I need my magazine. So the Pierce said, Okay, I'll Okay, I'll get it for you. So he asked what it was, but Robert Botters mumbled. So Pryress said, I'll come out and talk to you. So he opened it the dog, and then Roberts had goon. Pastry went to scream, but Bobbers defrosted his mouth and made him not talk. Not talk. Go, go. Bat inside. So they wended back to the place where they were before, except it was only Peterson who was there. Then Rodders had him not roar, but, but Pertz locked the door, and they closed it, and Torbert said, Swipe your key, or they will alarm go off. So Peter swiped his cadre. Then they went to get the money and the had five hundred thoughts and dollars, but Torret needed one Milton. Then Ronbert, who was Torret before, told he to give him the moan anyway, so he did. And then Orson Welles was there, and then he wasn't. But suddenly, the glasses that were on Robot's face fell off, even though they were never there. So he said, You bladed my face, and so I now need to shot you. And so Ribosum tried to fire the Goonie, but it was safe. Then he laughed and said, Ha ha, I would never going to gun you. But then the Price is Right said, What do you say? And so Roarbait said, I am Robert Roberts, the robber robber. I only rob robbers. And this was a new turn of information that Penguin thought about and said, But why Bob me? But Rosebud said, But it was never you. It was the cardboard. And so he said the thing that he said, and then there was dramatic music. So then the person who was not French and someone but not everyone called him Pants said, Oh no, he's been here the whole space. Suddenly, the cardboard that was a genius flew across the time and went to go where he was going. Thinking quickly, Robin thought quick and did some quick thinking. He quickly thought that he needed a plan quickly. He realized that the only way that the wells could be stopped was by acting badly at bad acting. So he turned to Park and said, Take my foot. This is gone to be French fry. So Practical grabbed the feats belonging to Robberer. And that guy said, Time to time. So things went wibbly woobly and stuff went backwards. This is the story of a man named Gary and a man named Pierce. Gary was a sad man. He had nothing left in the world except for his son, who had severe cancer. Gary had given up everything he had to help his son, but it still wasn't enough. He had no way of paying for his son's treatment. And as he walked toward the bank he was destined to rob, he wondered how things had come to this. I'm sorry, sir, but we're closed. But I... I need to come in. Sir, I can't just let anyone into a bank after hours. The manager just wouldn't... What? Where is did we foot? We have gone in time. The other way. What? <laughs> Quickly! Me from not you! Huh? We must make the acting in time bad! 
to defeat the cardboard Orson Welles. Give my foot. Momentum! Wait, hold on a sec. Once there was a man named Price, but it was Pierce and he was a bank man of genre. He was bank cleaning up his bank one day when an man named Robert Roberts, who wasn't named Gary because that would be stupid, showed up. Robert Roberts wanted to get in the band, but the bank was cloned. Then Tobert Roberts say it. Let me in. 